the Joe Rogan experience. Did you have any striking experience before that? None. None just at just all. the seaside boardwalk. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> so what what was it like going from just ba- straight wrestling to learning how to strike and wrestle together? It was uh, it was learning process, you know. Early in my career, I was able to take everybody down in those early fights, but uh, I had some pretty good fights even before UFC. I fought uh, Davidius, Tar- something Davidius. He was uh, this Ukraine type fight. I don't know. He fought in WC. Um, he beat some good guys, so he was decent. I was able to take him down. Then I fought Jim Miller, actually, my last fight for UFC. And that oh was no a, shit! Yeah, we had a crazy fight. Um, so you know, I, I had good opponents right away, but. Uh, the striking, you know, it, it, it's something that I really liked. I was always into boxing growing up. I was always into fighting. I, you know, jerseys, you know, I'm not from the hood or by any means, but everyone fights where I'm from. You know, it's kind of like see, everyone goes to Seaside, look for fights. That's kind of really? the nature of it. Yeah. I mean, you, you hear Joey Diaz talking about it, so, <laughs> you know. Jim Miller's a fucking beast. He is a beast, dude. I'm so glad he's healthy now because that guy struggled for yeah. so long yep. with Lyme disease. Yeah, my, my wife has it, actually. Does she she's really? She's been dealing with it God since damn. 2007. So, dude, yeah, everybody yeah. gets it on the East Coast. Yeah. It's crazy how many people have it. Yep. And it's just, they say that uh, there, there was, uh, we did this, this, we looked at this map online of all the areas in the East Coast where Lyme disease is prevalent and how what percentage of the ticks have it. It's bananas. Oh, uh, yeah. You, it's it's My wife's neurotic with it, too, because, you know, she's had to go through a bunch of, you know, treatments and whatnot. And is it still with her right now? It is. It's not as much, but she's got, like, a bunch of issues, like autoimmune stuff, I yeah. think, you know. And, um she's con- she's doing she's does the IV treatments, the sunlight therapy. It's like where they take the blood out, run it through UV, then put it back in you. Ooh. Yeah, she's done a lot, of, a lot of that stuff, and she does. She's starting to feel better. Um, With Jim, I think he changed his diet. I think that was a big one. Just really started eating clean. Yeah, my wife eats pretty clean. She's she's a you know kind of holisticish type person. Yeah, um, the 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 Lyme disease thing is fucking terrifying because for a long time they were diagnosing it incorrectly. Like people didn't know whether yeah, it was Lyme it was, disease, right. and people would come in with all sorts of aches and pains. And if they didn't have that big bullseye mark on them where the the tick bit them, yeah. the doctor really had no idea what was going on. And some doctors didn't have a lot of experience with it. Right, I got it when I was young. I Did was, you? Yeah, but I I'd seen the tick. So I got on medicine right away, and and I was fine. But they say if you don't see the tick, and then you just don't know you have it, and then if you don't get on medicine right away, then you're fucked, and it's in you for probably ever. <sighs> yeah. They even say like it's not even the Lyme disease; it's the other the other diseases that get attached to it. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's a thing called Morgellons. Have you ever heard mm-hmm. of Morgellons? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Morgellons is a disease that a lot of people think is like a like a psychological disease. They think that like you're imagining things because they would imagine that like fibers were growing out of their scabs and they'd scratch themselves like crazy. Right. But I had some good insight. We we did a television show called Joe Rogan Questions Everything. Yeah. And we we had some. One of the conversations I had was with a doctor who has Lyme disease. And that's when things got interesting because he was aware of it, not just as a person who has the disease, but also as a doctor. And he said one thing that all these people that have Morgellons have in common is that they all have Lyme disease. Mm. And he thinks that Lyme disease is not just one thing, that it's a host of other things that are attached right. to Lyme disease, like um, non-identified pathogens. Yeah, And that some of them have some sort of neurotoxic effect that changes the way you see things so he was seeing things like that weren't there like he was seeing worms crawling around on his eye that weren't there weren't even there wow. they weren't there Jeez. and he realized like oh, okay this is probably what more is like these people mm-hmm. are thinking that things are growing in their skin but there's nothing there but it's really because the Lyme disease and all the other toxins and pathogens that right. come with it are fucking with your neurology yeah they're fucking with your brain yeah yeah my wife said brain fog is probably the, the biggest thing that that bothers her you know mm. um and she went through a period where she was always tired and, and it's crazy because my wife you would never guess it because she's super high energy she works out every day you know just takes, pushes like, through yeah, it yeah pushes through it but uh it's definitely uh, something she has to constantly treat you remember when people had chronic fatigue syndrome? Yeah. People would always talk. Where'd that go? Yeah, I don't know. Isn't is that, that like a thing that everybody always had? But like, is an excuse? Is that an excuse? <laughs> like a know. bullshit thing? I don't know. Could be. <laughs> See, that's that's you. This is mentally tough guys. Yeah, like, come yeah. on. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. How do I feel? I feel good. Let's go. So that's it. I feel good. You know, I, I mean, my wife, uh, it's, 
it's shit it's shit's expensive too all these damn treatments oh, yeah. you know and uh well marcus davis all of his ufc money he spent treating his wife for lyme disease wow yeah he, he wound up uh he's um a prison guard now is he really somewhere yeah, yeah. I think he's still doing that. You know, he's uh, good buddies with Della Grotta. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Della Grotta was keeping me posted on him, but he wound up, um, like, his wife got it real bad. I think he spent more than a quarter million dollars yeah, just yeah. To treating I, her. Not that much. I mean, unless my wife's not telling me, but. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking bad. My my friend Steve Ranella, he and his son got it, and the, the doctors didn't recognize it. The doctors, he was like, I think it might be Lyme disease. The doctors d didn't think so. Then his son started getting bell's palsy so fat half his face and his son was little i think he was like four or five half his face was going numb yeah it's happened that happened to my wife actually she had yeah. bell's palsy the one time yeah i think she got a flu shot she said and then came home she got bell's palsy jesus yeah. christ yeah it's a fucking creepy disease man it is because no one seems to know what to do with it and you know they had a vaccine for a little while but the problem with the vaccine was people were and this is including my manager's dad took the vaccine and got Lyme disease from the vaccine. I, I keep hearing this with vaccines or even flu shot. Like I've heard people that get the flu shot. shot and they get the flu. You know, I've heard <laughs> that people get sick when yeah. they get the flu shot. But then I've talked to people that are vaccine people, and they're like, "No, you probably were already getting the flu, and the flu shot that you got was the wrong one for wrong whatever chain, flu right? was in the area." Well, I also I heard too they give you the strain from last year, and then there's the new strain this year, so it's not even really helping you. Well, I, I think true. there's multiple strains each year, mm -hmm. and I think they're basically just hedging guessing, their bets. Right, they're guessing. Yeah. I don't take flu shots. No, hell no. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I. I think they do work if you get lucky. Yeah, and you well, get the right one. <laughs> I'm not too I lucky. Know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I believe in vaccines for sure, but I don't think that it always works in in in, in the flu shot case. I'm not sure because, yeah. like, sometimes sometimes they just get it wrong. Like they have the wrong strain. Right. Right. What do we know? What do we no, know? No, I know. It's a, it's a shots. fucking touchy subject. Anyway, Two morons talking yeah, about flu exactly. shots. Exactly. <laughs> But it's but um, with the with the Lyme disease. My, my wife said uh, there's a conspiracy theory that that's the government put yes. that out in, in the wild. Well, there was a conspiracy theory that it, there was actually look, look this up, Jamie, because there was actually something about this they were talking about recently, where um, they were looking in there was they were investigating the idea that Lyme disease was a biological warfare weapon that. Uh, accidentally got released but this was through like legitimate channels they were investigating yeah. this it wasn't like some fucking tinfoil hat job they released it on the east coast i guess right not not where they wanted to release it <laughs> well, i think it got out i think the idea is that somehow or another this disease had accidentally escaped their labs or while they were in the middle of uh treating people now, is a tick the only way you can get lyme disease i believe so yeah, yeah. and it's the ticks I think it's deer ticks. Mm -hmm. I think it's places that have a high population of deer, also have a high population of these ticks. And then when people get it, it's less, you know, most of them don't realize they have it until it's too late. Yeah. So you don't realize you have it, and then you miss the early rounds of the antibiotics, market, yeah. which can knock it out. And then you get this chronic state right. like Jim Miller has yeah. and your wife has. Yep. And yeah, my, my buddy uh, Steve Ranella that had it, he was fucked up. I mean, bad for psh, at least six months. When I saw him, he looked like he had lost, and he's a slim guy, but he looked like he's lo he had lost 20 or 30 pounds. Wow. And he was just said he'd just been dealing with the, the Lyme disease, and it just yeah. killed him. I mean, not killed him, but just just yeah. just, just really diminished Beat his body. Up, yeah. yeah, it's fucking, it's a weird disease, man, because you you can't find anybody who doesn't know anybody who has it when yeah, you're right, on the East Coast. Right, yeah. Everybody knows a brother or a cousin or a wife. Someone has it. It's crazy. I, mean, I love running the woods and trails, but like in the summertime, it's like, man, you, you just I'm so nervous to get ticks. Or my kids, I don't want my kids going out in it. Well, I think it takes 24 hours for it to set in. So like once you once you do come back, if you have a tick on, you just have to remove check, it immediately. Yeah, yeah, so we do. Every time we go in the woods, tick checks. How do you get them off you, though? If like it's What if it's like in the middle of your back and you're by yourself? Yeah, I guess you're just like one of those back scratchers or yeah. something. <laughs> like... Here it is. Was Lyme disease created as a bioweapon? Uh, is this a legit website? It's yeah, it's uh how stuff well how stuff how works. How stuff works. So it's not, oh. uh, not unlegit. But, oh that's uh, that's legit. How stuff works is very legit. I just sort of read through the whole article. It's sort of unproven, but there are some people I believe that think that this is a thing. It just would be very hard to do, is what the end of Look the article at this. says. Tick says weapons issue made headlines back in July two thousand nineteen thanks to the US House of Representatives. Chris Smith 
uh, are New Jersey, Republican New Jersey, who introduced legislation, legislation directing the Department of Defense to review claims that the Pentagon researched tick-based wow. bioweapons in the mid-20th century. The amendment passed. Smith said he was inspired by a number of books and articles suggesting that significant research had been done in the U.S. government facilities, including Fort Detrick, Maryland, and Plum Island, New York, to turn ticks and other insects into bioweapons. Imagine if those cunts wow. created a fucking disease, and now <laughs> the, everyone the, in the, the East yeah, Coast yeah. has it. What the fuck? Because it's mostly out there. That's what's fucked up. Yeah, it is. It is. L Lyme, isn't Lyme a place in Connecticut? Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, is that why they named it Lyme disease? I mean, I think that's why they named it that. Yeah. Have you heard of the Rocky Mountain tick? In, yeah, isn't that kind of the, the West Coast version of... Well, it's Texas. It's, uh, uh, um, I think, it is, or the Lone Star tick. That's oh, what that's it is. Oh, that's different. The one. Lone Star one. It makes you not like meat or something? Yes. Alpha gal, alpha galactose. It does something, I think that's the, the word, um, it it makes you allergic, allergic to meat. Allergic to meat, wow. Yeah, so you, you literally go the rest of your life and you can't eat meat. You have to eat like chicken and fish shoot me <laughs> what, what is that yeah the first cases of it were there in 1975 yeah the uh, goddamn government they're creating bioweapons i'm not surprised no i mm -hmm. talked to the soviet union guy when i was doing that television show and he was saying that they they had all sorts of bioweapons that they were developing over oh, there gotta be right? giant pits filled with anthrax <sighs> like, like who's are there ticks in other countries like, or lyme disease in other countries that's a good question that's a very good question yeah. that would that would like sort of Explain a lot. While we're in Conspiracyville, have you uh -oh. seen the coronavirus stuff? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. there's conspiracies yeah. about it? Yeah. What's the conspiracy? There's like a level four bioweapon facility opened in Wuhan. Oh, like wow. Recent, not too long ago. And I, oh, people are, the suggestions are online. I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying it. The suggestions are online. Something might have leaked just like this. Have you consulted with Sam Tripoli or Eddie Bravo? I, uh, <laughs> I have seen I have seen tweets. I'll just say I've seen tweets from who? From, uh, from Sam from, or from, Eddie? I think Sam's retweeted some stuff. So. Oh, of course, of course he has. But I've seen other stuff online too. Well, I mean, I think whatever news is out there, there's always some conspiracy theory that goes with it, right? <laughs>